In this episode, we're going to talk about the Avalanche forecast, getting it in your area, and how you can use these products to stay safe in the backcountry this winter. This is avalanche.org where I start and this gives you all the avalanche centers in the western United States. We're going to scroll down to Colorado and go to the northern San Juan Mountains. That's where we are today in Silverton, Colorado. So then we come to the northern San Juan forecast and right here we have date and time that was updated this morning at 7.02 a.m. Then it shows danger rating by elevation. You can see here that at all elevations the danger rating is considerable today. This also shows tomorrow the trend. It's good to check the forecast every day because sometimes that trend will change. So then you come down to the summary and it's just a brief description of the current avalanche conditions, travel advice for that day, and how you can avoid avalanches. Then you come down below the summary and we have the avalanche problem. Today there's only one avalanche problem in the northern San Juan Mountains and that's the persistent slab avalanche problem. This is the character of the avalanche, how it's going to act. You can see right here is an icon and there's quick links to all the definitions for any of this stuff. So this just gives you the definition of the persistent slab avalanche. And then you go a little deeper and it'll talk about um, persistent slabs, where they are, and what they look like. And then we come to the distribution rows. This gives you the aspect and elevation where you're most likely to find a persistent slab avalanche today. So on west, through north to east, through southeast aspects at all elevations, you're likely to find a large avalanche today. Likelihood is the chances of you triggering this avalanche problem today, and the size is the size of the avalanches and the consequences from triggering them. The media is just a visual representation of the avalanche problem for that day. So persistent slab, is the problem and we'll show you photos of persistent slabs, what they're gonna look like and what you need to watch out for. And then a little bit further down and there's the weather forecast for today, tonight and tomorrow at 11,000 feet. If you're spending time in avalanche train, the forecast gives you the information you need to get started. Whether you're an avalanche professional or new to the backcountry, the forecast can help you understand the problems in the snowpack that day and how to avoid them. If you're traveling to a new area or working during the week, checking the forecast is a great way to stay informed on current avalanche conditions. Taking a half hour before you go out in the morning to read the forecast can help set you up for a safe and successful day in the backcountry. So along with these uh, forecast centers, there's also mobile apps. Um, I know the Utah Avalanche Center has one, the Colorado Avalanche Information Center has one. I'm sure a number of other centers around the Western United States have apps and they're super helpful. You can check the forecast, get the nitty gritty before you go out, and you can also upload photos or submit observations from these apps as well. So, super helpful. I'm trying to help folks recreate safely in the mountains here in Colorado. If I can help somebody go out and have a day of their life in the snow and not get injured and avoid avalanches, I've done my job. I highly recommend along with these videos and getting the gear and the forecast, also taking an avalanche course before you head out into the backcountry this season.